Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Lesson 6.5, Add and Subtract Fractions. Our essential question is how can you use a common denominator to add or subtract fractions with unlike denominators? So let's begin for Lesson 6.5 in your Go Math book. As you can see for question 1, they did an example for you. They have the fractions 1 half minus 1 seventh. The denominators are not the same. And whenever you subtract with fractions, you always have to have the same denominator, which is which is why our previous lesson was all about finding common denominators. All right, so if you look right here, you can see that you have 1 half and 1 seventh. The denominators are not the same, so they found a denominator to be 14, which is their least common denominator. They found equivalent fractions, 1 half equals 7 fourteenths, 1 seven equals 2 fourteenths. Now, since my denominators are the same, you can subtract. 7 fourteenths minus 2 fourteenths is 5 fourteenths. And this is already in simplest form because the greatest common factor that 5 and 14 share is 1, so it's done. So let's take a look at question 2. It says 7 tenths minus 1 half. We're going to go ahead and set it up as 7 tenths minus 1 half. And let's think about our common denominators for 10 and 2. Let's go ahead and list our multiples for 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I'm going to stop right there because I've already found the common denominator. Since this one already has 10, we found 10 here, we can stop. So let's go ahead and make our new fraction to have a denominator of 10. And now our job is to find an equivalent fraction. 1 half is equal to 5 tenths. Just do this with me in your page. And 7 tenths remains the same. And now we can subtract. 7 tenths minus 5 tenths. Now you can subtract just your numerator, not your denominator. Keep that the same. Our answer is 2 tenths. Now this is not in simplest form yet. We have to make it in simplest form. I know 2 tenths can be simplified because they both have the factor of 2. So we can divide 2 and 10 by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So our real answer is 1 fifth. All right, so let's go on to question four now. Now, as you can see, this is an addition problem, but don't worry about that. You can go ahead and work it out as well. Our goal is to find common denominators before we add or subtract. So let's think about our multiples of five and my multiples of eight. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I'm going to stop right there. My multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. So my common denominator needs to be 40. 5 eighths equals how many 40ths? And 2 fifths equals how many 40ths? And we're going to add these together. All right, go ahead and find your equivalent fractions. 5 eighths should equal 25 40ths because 8 times 5 is 40, so 5 times 5 is 25. And 2 fifths should equal 16 fortieths because 5 times 8 is 40, so 2 times 8 should be 16. And now we can add our question. 25 fortieths plus 16 fortieths. Let's start out by keeping our denominator the same and add our numerators. 25 plus 16 I'm just going to do it right over here. I got 41 fortieths. Now what do we know about this fraction right here? I know that this is an improper fraction, so we're just going to rename it as a mixed number, a fraction greater than one whole. We have one whole and one fortieth should be your new fraction. Okay, so for number six, we want to find the sum or difference. Go ahead and write your answer in simplest form. If you want to pause the video and do this one on your own before I walk you through it, you can go ahead and do that to see if you're correct. Okay, here we go. We're going to do three-fourths minus two-fifths, and you should have listed your multiples of four and five, and found the least common one would be 20, because you have four, eight, 12, 16, 20. And for 5, you have 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, so 3 fourths is equal to how many twelfths? Well, let's see. 
4 times 5 is 20, so 3 times 5 is 15. And 2 fifths would be 5 times 4 is 20, so 2 times 4 is 8. So now we can subtract. And you should have said your final difference is 7 twentieths. Now this is already in simplest form because 7 and 20 have only one common factor, which is 1. So it's simplified. Okay, I'd like you to try number 8 on your own before we check it together. Go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, for this one you should have said 7 eighths plus 1 third. You're going to have a common denominator of 24. So 7 eighths is equal to how many 24ths? You should have said 21 24ths because 8 times 3 is 24, so 7 times 3 is 21. And 1 third equals how many 24ths? You should have said 8 24ths because 3 times 8 is 24 and 1 times 8 is 8. Now you're all set up to add. 21 plus 8 is going to be 29 as my numerator and my denominator has to stay the same. Now as you can see this is one fraction that's greater than one whole so we're going to rename it to a mixed number. 29 24 has the same value as one whole and then you're going to have 5 24 left over. So it's 1 and 5 24 has the value of 29 24. Alright I hope our answers agreed. So let's take a look at our word problems at the bottom of the page. Kaylin mixed two liquids for a science experiment. One container had 7 eighths cup and the other had 9 tenths cup. What is the total amount of the mixture? Go ahead, find your equivalent fractions and add and see if you get the same answer I do. You can press pause right now. All right, the least common denominator that 8 and 10 shared is 40. So 9 tenths equals 36 fortieths and 7 eighths equals 35 fortieths. Now we're going to go ahead and add this together. You should say 35 plus 36 as my numerator is going to equal 71 over 40. Now you can definitely see this is improper so when you change it to a mixed number you're going to have one whole and 31 fortieths left over. So the total amount of the mixture would be one cup and 31 fortieths of another cup. And now let's take a look at question number 14. It says Henry bought one fourth of a pound of screws and two fifths pounds of nails to build a skateboard ramp. What is the total weight of the screws and nails? All right, that word total tells me I'm going to do what operation? Just think about it. All right, you should have thought about adding. Now, as you can see, our denominator is not the same. So if you want to pause the video, work this one out, and let's see if we agree, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and press pause now. All right, friends, for this one, you should have said that your least common denominator should be 20 because my multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and my multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, and 20. All right, so 2 fifths is equal to how many 20ths? You should have said 8 20ths, because 5 times 4 is 20, so 2 times 4 is 8. And 1 fourth is equal to 5 20ths, because 4 times 5 is 20, so 1 times 5 is 5. And now we can add our fractions, because our denominators are the same. You should have said it was a total of 13 twentieths of a pound to build that skateboard ramp. All right, there you have it. All right, let's flip our page over to the back side now. All right, so you'll be doing the first two top questions that are a lot like this lesson. Work them out carefully in your book. Show your work, please. And do questions three through six for review. And before you end for tonight, I want you to assess yourself. So at the top of your GoMath page, put a level one if you feel like you're a novice for this topic. Apprentice, you think you understand, but you still need coaching through it. Practitioner number three, if you understand this, but you don't want to teach it to someone yet. Or four, if you feel like you're an expert. And we will check these tomorrow in class. Have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.